morning after. Yesterday night uh, I photographed uh, the peaks around Chukas and uh, I fell on the way back. I sprained my middle finger on my right hand because I fell on it. Super stupid. So now I have a bit of a handicap and I slept very bad. So it's a perfect morning to go out photographing again. It's a beautiful glow. It's about 15 minutes till sunrise. So I'm a bit late for the perfect light, but I don't think there was any this morning. It was very pretty seeing from the hotel room. But for now, we're gonna photograph one or two scenes. We're just gonna keep it easy. Just a relaxing morning. So let's see what we can find here. Okay, so I set up uh, my tripod here. Kind of put it down, but I do think it's a good spot for it. I walked along the edge here to find a place where I have a bit more of that forest in the foreground. In the other place there was too much white of the snow and it didn't really pop out well. The mountain, the balance wasn't quite right. And here we have quite a flank of the forest on the side, which will be lit up nicely by the sun in a bit. And then the mountain is peaking up above it. Now I gotta change my white balance yesterday, I had it on daylight, but now we're in shady. I, I, white balance doesn't matter that much. It's something I can change because I'm photographing in RAW. But I do prefer to get it right in camera, I don't want to change too much afterwards in RAW. If I can get it right now, I will get it right now. So, let's, uh, yeah, it's not very spectacular yet. But as yesterday, like you start off with something not that spectacular and you build up and hopefully the light improves and the photos get better as well. So just as a first shot of the day, one fifth of a second. F13, I think I need a bit longer. 0.5 of a second, F13. ISO 100, let's go. As the sun is rising behind me, I think I made this shot a bit too bright. Ah, uh, it's on the edge, we'll just turn it down a little bit. I don't want to overexpose those blues in this case. I think that's uh, it's decent. I thought it was time to look for a new composition, but actually the clouds are lighting up really nicely at the moment. So we're just gonna go and photograph this same shot again, but now with a bit better light. It's really nice, actually it's interesting the sun just came up. And in the Netherlands you really get these colors just before, uh, yeah, before sunrise. And here we're just after sunrise and it gets prettier. So well, lesson learned. Oh, the light is beautiful now. We're gonna make a little panorama of this same scene. So I think that would look quite nice. I tried to level my tripod out a bit better than when I uh, shot that panorama of Pusage. But just to be sure, I'm gonna make it a bit wider than needed. I'm gonna sweep through to see if it, how the exposure is. And it's a little bit dark on the side. You know what? I'll just make it a HDR again, just in case, as I can, with my laptop. Oh. Ooh, what a what a nice light. Sun has just risen. Ah, so bright. So beautiful. Okay, so I tried to turn my camera a third all every time that I take the photo. So I pick a spot on the third of the photo and that I move to the other third on the other side for the second panorama or the next photo in the panorama, is what I have to say. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm glad I came out again, even though I had quite a crappy night. That is a massive panorama I shot. It was way more than I needed. I was only gonna go for the, uh, for the mountain peaks, but I shot it all the way through and I can always take out the parts that I don't need. I can't add them to it anymore, but I can take out things. So always make sure you just photograph a bit too much. 
in these panoramas. And uh, let's see what came out. As I showed you yesterday, I do like to photograph into the sun and I'm gonna do the same as well. I don't know if this is gonna be any good, but on the back of my screen, it looks nice. There's this really tiny uh, fir tree and uh, yeah, and the sun's in the background. It's lighting up the foreground. So I just want this fir tree on the sort of bottom right corner and then just a blown out orangey sky behind it. Very easy shot actually. So we're gonna go for F8, so we have a little, or a bit less, 5.6, so that tree is sharp and the rest is nice and blurry. Doesn't mean you have to nail that focus. And uh, yeah, I will do an HDR bracket again, but I'll probably, it's probably gonna be overexposed in all the photos. Let's see, oh, there's a massive flare in the photo, of course, which is not that weird. See if I can kind of, by blocking the lens with my hand, kind of, yeah, make that a bit less. Okay, something like that. I don't know if it's any good. Let's see. That was it already actually for uh, for this vlog. Just had some breakfast and uh, I'm gonna go back to bed I think. I'm gonna go uh, try and sleep some bit, bit more. Because this afternoon I'm heading to the mud volcanoes near the Berka. And hopefully film a bit more and photograph a bit more there tonight. But that's for another week. Hope to see you there. Goodbye.